sir, this is Mr. Hogan's 1948 address with the right elbow under the left. But after the accident, he started to have a more open shoulder and this right arm was riding higher and this left arm had a little bend to it. So this is the kind of swing that I'm doing with his, his later arm position. Actually feels really pure. Hey guys, Christo Garcia, My Swing Evolution. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to talk to you guys today about this Hogan arm position stuff. It's really pretty funky how it fits into the whole big project. So I am fired up because I'm about to go to the golf course and dial some things in before tomorrow when Michael Lundberg shows up from Europe. Yes, he's uh, the first PGA Tour winner I'm going to be working with on his golf swing and I'm honored. And I'm also prepared. Yeah, I really, really think I can hang with anybody right now um, because of the things, you know, the distinctions I have with the way that I teach the golf swing. And uh, I think this weekend is going to be totally amazing because we're going to have an intensive on Sunday. It's an all-day intensive, nine hours long. It'll be myself and Michael Lundberg teaching. And uh, I'm really excited because he is going to be showing me all the PGA Tour tricks for getting up and down from 100 yards and in. And if you just watched Kapalua, these guys, their short games are amazing. And Michael Lundberg is one of the best in the world. So I'm terribly excited about that. So before we get into this Hogan video, I hope you'll hit that big red subscribe button underneath the video because we are growing in 2019. And I really believe this is going to be the best year ever. And I'm still kind of, uh, I look back and it doesn't seem like that long ago when I started my swing evolution. I was so frustrated and ashamed of my golf game. And now, you know, I'm going to the PGA show in Orlando, the 22nd through the 25th in Orlando. So if you're going to be there, make sure you keep an eye out for me. I'm looking for some new partners and I'm looking to kick some serious butt in 2019. So... I am planning on my birthday tournament and intensive in March. So if you can't make this Sunday, uh, two months from now, we're going to be doing it again. And I'm going to be having a tournament. That's always a lot of fun. And I'm trying to get ahead of these things because I'm always so last minute. But I'm trying to get better at it. Then I hope to go to England in May and I hope to go to Asia in August. That's what I'm, I'm planning. So if you've got a pro or a course that would like to host me, just reach out to me and we'll make all this happen. So let's get into Ben Hogan and I hope you hit him long and hit him straight. Hey guys, so I'm out here uh, fooling around with uh, Ben Hogan's arm positions. And when you look at his book in 1948, Power Golf, he talks about setting up to the ball with his right elbow underneath his left elbow. And, uh, you know, that's pretty standard, you know. It's, uh, I think that's the way most of the people are teaching. And uh, you'll see that after the accident, that right arm crept higher and higher, and it almost looked like his shoulders were really open and that right arm was way higher than his left as he moved into his later years. And so I'm fooling around with it, and it really kind of, accentuates and helps that shoulder opening move and I really feel like I trap the ball better when I do that and so I'm just out here fooling around with it today and then uh, I want to take a look at some of Mr. Hogan's swings and uh, describe this in a little more detail. All right, let's take a look at some of Ben Hogan's golf swing. So what we're going to see here is first 1940. It looks like we've got a little hint of that right arm. I mean, 
it definitely got higher as he went on with his career, you know. But here we can see that right arm is under. This is what I've been doing most of this year uh, after I worked with Todd Graves, um, reducing my forearm rotation and just, just kind of hammering the ball down the line. And I've had uh, pretty solid results with it, to be honest with you. And uh, as we move forward here, we'll get up to, okay, let's see here. Yeah, this is, uh, I believe this is 1942. Great cowboy with those legs. I just love how he uses his lower body. So here uh, he says, right arm is relaxed and lower than left. Left elbow is pointing towards the left hip and right elbow towards the right hip. This shot calls for full application of power, but note the absence of any appearance of strain. So yeah, here we see that his right arm is lower than his left, and this is in his book, Power Golf, that came out in 1948. So here's 1946, and we can see that right arm is pretty much under that left arm, just like he says in the book. And this is the year that he came out after the secret and started kicking everybody's butt. So he's got it going on, 1947. Now watch after he does his little forward press. So once he gets pressed into that ball and extends that left arm out, that right arm is under the left very clearly. And then he just hinges it up throws the lower body and that pulls everything else around up to a lovely high finish. Oh my gosh. Still, just the aesthetics of his golf swing are so outstanding to me. Prettiest golf swing of all time. Now 1951. Ah, what do we got here? Yep, we got that high right arm and that collapsed left arm. You know, I'm almost reminded of Calvin Pete with his broken left elbow from falling out of the cherry tree. Yeah, kind of kooky. Yeah, that right arm is clearly higher. Now, as we move forward in his career, we're going to see it. It just gets to be more and more. So now let's look at the famous 1953 Kano film. Look at how high that right arm is and how much bend is in that left elbow. So I'm going to make a comment here. Um, there's this trend where people are like, Hogan didn't do what he said in his books. Well, guess what? If you watched all my videos today, I'm not doing half of the stuff that I've done during the course of my evolution. But you've got to go through your evolution to find out what you want to keep and what you want to discard. But here it is, 1953. He won all three majors he competed in, so I'm paying attention to this. You know, I got a great question from uh, my buddy Brendan, who runs uh, Be Better Golf. He put me to the question. He said, who would win, 1948 Power Golf Ben Hogan or 1953 Ben Hogan? And uh, I think Hogan's win percentage was higher after the accident. And it looks like he's got a couple of things dialed in here. And the number of greens and regulation he was hitting, I'm actually picking 1953, as crazy as that sounds. But great question, Brendan. So here we see the cup in the left hand that he's got kind of preset in there and that long straight right arm and bent left arm. Really kooky. So as he makes his transition, that right arm is bent and into that trail side. The right shoulder goes right underneath. Just absolutely gorgeous. Now here's the down the line view, and I think we can see pretty clearly that that, A, his right elbow is no longer pointing at his right hip. That right elbow looks like it's pointing to the rear of his hip, more towards us. Again, such a great move. Right arm higher. I think essentially what he's doing is he's just, it allows him to open his shoulders a little bit more through the strike. Now this is a key moment here. Watch what happens as he releases. Boom. 
his shoulders get so open immediately after the strike. And I think it has a lot to do with that right shoulder going under and around. But that's the finest golf swing I've ever seen. That is Ben Hogan. Let's watch it one more time. Mm -mm -mm. Just a work of art. I hope you uh, come on out to the intensive next weekend. It's going to be amazing. And if you're interested in my Hogan theories, check out The Hogan Code. It's my best-selling instructional video. Hit them long and hit them straight. Hey, guys. So let's cut to the chase. Here's my old golf swing. And here's my new golf swing. Five years ago, I started a YouTube channel and I wanted to improve my golf swing by using Ben Hogan's five lessons. Well, guess what? It worked. And along the way, I picked up over 8 million views on YouTube and I learned how to shoot under par. Unbelievable, right? Well, the great news is I have a brand new instructional video called The Hogan Code. In this video, I break down everything that I learned over my long journey to learn to swing like Ben Hogan. And now you can learn the very same techniques that I use to become the golfer I always wanted to be.